is looking to strengthen ties with its neighbors through the One Belt, One Road initiative. Bilateral trade with countries in the region has reached over $485 billion so far this year. CCTV's Wang Tongchuan has more. Fresh data shows that the bilateral trade volume for the nations involved with the China proposed One Belt, One Road accounted for more than 485 billion U.S. dollars in the first six months of 2015. That's almost 26 percent of China's total trade volume during the period. In the foreign investment sector, China established 948 enterprises along the One Belt, One Road region countries. That's a growth of 10.62 percent from a year ago. The actual investment value reached $3.67 billion, up 4.15 percent year on year. Information transmission, computer services and software industry, finance and leasing were among the sectors that experienced growth in foreign investment. Chinese companies also made the direct investments of about $7 billion U.S. billion in 48 countries in the region. The investments went mostly to Singapore, Indonesia, Laos, Russia, Kazakhstan and Thailand. More than 1,400 construction projects worth about 38 billion U.S. dollars have been signed. That includes agreements in such sectors as electrical engineering, communications, transportation and construction. China's Ministry of Commerce says the country will take decisive measures to diversify trade, investment and bilateral ties with countries in the One Belt, One Road region and enable easier domestic market access for foreign companies. China cancelled its e-commerce foreign invested equity ratio limits in March. The retail giant Walmart took full control of Chinese e-commerce firm eHowDian.com four months later. Experts say Walmart's purchase will help us weave together an online and offline presence in Chinese market at a time when traditional brick and mortar retailers in China are facing competition from online rivals amidst a slowing economy. Walmart says. According to a statement by Walmart, its investment in YHD is part of its long-term commitment to grow in China. YHD will continue operating under its existing name and will maintain its focus on having strong local leadership with a clear understanding of the needs of online consumers in China. We look forward to see Walmart continuing to play a positive role in the development of the e-commerce industry. Shen said that to promote steady growth in imports and exports, the government will encourage the importation of advanced technology while strengthening the implementation of relevant policies to help the foreign trade companies and promote stable growth. Fang Tongxuan, CCTV, Beijing.